And today's drawing is the frilled neck lizard. I am the snake artist and my mission in life is to get people to appreciate art and wildlife. I have here a couple of pictures of Lady Jennifer holding a frilled neck lizard. Look at that gorgeous, beautiful creature. You know, it's just absolutely magnificent to see you know, how nature is so beautiful. The lizard's pretty good too. The frilled neck lizard is one of Australia's most famous lizards. They're found in the northern regions of Australia and southern parts of Papua New Guinea. Because of those flaps of skin around this neck that fan out to make it look big. So if something comes up to try and eat it, all of a sudden, bang, out comes the thrill and says, hey, I'm bigger than you think I am. But that frill can also be used to thermoregulate as well. They can use it as a big solar panel to get more sunlight, but most of the time they actually just bask very flat to a limb of a tree. You see them sort of hugging a tree facing the sun, and when they get too hot they might sort of move around the tree and get into the shade. They're quite hard to see next to the tree or the stump, and I also find this is also the very same with the bearded dragon as well. They often do that same behaviour, usually early in the morning just as the sun comes up, and sometimes early afternoon after they've had a snooze when they got too hot, they might sneak out and get a bit more sunlight. So when threatened, the frill comes out, it puts on a quite a big display, opens its mouth, hisses, and then if it can, it will turn and it will run like a dinosaur on its back legs. And its favourite food just happens to be invertebrates. It especially loves to eat butterflies and moths, which it uses as an ambush tactic, waiting for the insects to come close to it, and then it will just quickly grab them. So here's my illustration of the frilled neck lizard. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Look, I'd love you to subscribe and maybe check out some of my other videos. Which is just here.